management accounting, the management process. So far we've talked about planning and what a manager does then. And we've talked a little bit about what a manager does when they perform their tasks or activities. And we've talked about inside the business in the value chain. And we talked about whether a business was in a commodity business, and, and that key question was how much does it cost, and that's what drives managers' decisions. We've also talked about if a manager is in a brand business, and in brand, we're very interested in value creation or the enhanced quality of the product. We've also, and for that manager, we're very interested in value or quality enhancement. Niche market. We just want to satisfy a need, so our big deal is to target our customers. But let's look outside the business at the supply chain. Now the supply chain is business to business to business, which is known as B2B, business to business. Um, the supply chain is sometimes known as a supply network because it's not that linear. We find that uh, businesses can be both a consumer and they can be a uh, supplier as well for different businesses. So sometimes it's called the network. Now, what do I mean when we have business to business to business? That means when you're looking at uh, where you acquire your resources from and who you sell your products or services to falls into this linkage. We have a supplier, we have the company, and we have the consumer or the customer. So for example, if I am looking at trees in the forest versus your textbook, this would be a typical supply chain. We'd start with the trees in the forest, which are harvested by the timber company. The paper company then buys the, uh, the timber, makes paper. Paper is then sold to the publisher. The publisher then produces textbooks, which are sold to the bookstore, which are then sold to you. Now, this, there's a lot of touches, aren't there, along the way from tree to textbook. The manager's objective in the supply chain is to reduce or compress the supply chain. Because if they can take one of these links out, that means there is more profit available to the remaining players in the supply chain. So what you've seen in recent times is the timber companies have been bought or acquired by the paper companies. Why are they compressing this linkage of timber and paper into one company? Because that means that one company then has more control of, now that's a commodity business, isn't it? Their costs and they can reduce the cost, keep their prices the same, and have what? More profits. So when we're dealing with supply chain, managers, especially at the tactical and strategic levels, are looking at compression. How can I take out a player? What you're seeing today, as far as your textbooks are concerned, is there is play between the publishers and the bookstores. The publisher is trying to take out the bookstore and sell directly to you. Why? Because the bookstore has a markup of at least 25% and textbooks are becoming so expensive that students are refusing to buy them, which is not good for the publisher or the bookstore. So what you're seeing in the next four to five years is there is going to be some condensation or, uh, or compression of the supply chain in this area.